Hello and welcome to our Summer of STEAM 2018 engineering video. Today we're learning about how the force of buoyancy affects whether oranges sink or float. Also, stay tuned for an extra experiment where we learn how to pop balloons using orange peel. For our experiment, you will need balloons, a balloon pump, oranges, and water. We'll start by learning about the force of buoyancy. We have special guest Ethan to help us with today's video. To do this, first drop your oranges into a jug of water. Watch as both oranges float to the top of the jug. Next, you're going to peel one orange. Now drop both oranges into the water and observe what happens. You should see that the peeled orange sinks, while the unpeeled orange floats to the top. This is because the force of buoyancy acts on the unpeeled orange. So where does this force of buoyancy come from? Inside the peel of an orange, there are tiny air pockets. These air pockets allow the force of buoyancy to act on the orange. This is because when the air pockets are submerged in water, they are fighting against the force of gravity as they want to rise up to the top. This means that when you put the orange that is unpeeled into the water, it will float to the top because the force of buoyancy is acting on the orange, while the unpeeled orange doesn't have these air pockets and sinks to the bottom. Now we're moving on to learning how to pop balloons using orange peel. Start by blowing up some balloons. We used some regular round balloons as well as some balloon animals. Now, squeeze the orange peels onto the balloon. It may take a couple minutes, but the balloons will soon pop. Be sure to wear eye protection while completing this part of the experiment. So how does this work? In the skin of the oranges, there is a compound known as limonene. This gives oranges its smell. Limonene is a non-polar compound, which means it doesn't dissolve in water. The balloon, on the other hand, is a polymer. A polymer is a series of linked subunits, and is also a non-polar material. When you mix the non-polar limonene and the non-polar polymer, what soon happens is you see that the polymer is dissolved. This means that over time, the limonene weakens the outside of the balloon, and it pops. I hope you enjoyed learning about buoyancy and how oranges can be used to pop balloons. Stay tuned for our next video in our Summer of Steam series. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.